Hello and welcome fifth graders, friends, and family of Woodrow Wilson. This is Miss Fields here and I am going to be joining you guys for another episode of Math Toolbox. So for our second episode of Math Toolbox, we are going to be focusing on a strategy called UKT. Now UKT is an excellent strategy that any mathematician can use when they are analyzing word problems to figure out how to solve them, specifically to determine what operation that they need to use in order to solve the word problem. UKT stands for units, keywords, and total. And when you're solving a word problem, you work UKT from top to bottom. And what I mean by that is you find the units first, you analyze the problem for keywords, and then if you still don't know what operation to use, you're going to look to find and see if you know the total or if you don't. So unit stands for anything that is an object or is that is referenced in the word problem. For example, if we have a word problem talking about cardboard boxes, Miss Fields has three cardboard boxes. She buys five more. How many cardboard boxes does she have in total? The units would be cardboard boxes. And in that case, the units would be matching because all we're talking about is cardboard boxes. In that case, it's highly likely that the operation being used is either addition or subtraction when the units match. Now that's not to say that sometimes it may not be addition or subtraction, but for the most part, it's highly likely that the operation would be addition or subtraction when units are matching. In the opposite case, when units do not match, for example, with that same problem, Miss Fields has 10 cardboard boxes and she wants to divide them equally among three of her friends, the units would be cardboard boxes and friends and they would not match. If units do not match, it cannot be addition or subtraction. It has to be. It's highly likely that it is either multiplication or division. So once you've identified your units, you move on to analyzing the word problem for keywords. Now keywords are your clues for determining whether you're adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. So when you're looking at a word problem, these are just common words associated with the operation. There's a chance that you might look at your word problem and none of these words are inside of it and you're still stuck not knowing what the operation will need to be used to solve the word problem. So if you figure out the units, you're stuck on the keywords, then you need to move on to our last step in the strategy, which is called total. So for this part of the strategy, you need to look for two things. You need to see, do you know what the total is of the word problem? If you do, it's going to be division. If you don't know the total for a word problem, you are going to be multiplying every time to find it. Now, these terms, units, keywords, total are kind of abstract. So we're going to put them in context of a word problem to help you guys kind of understand what I mean by UKT and how to use it explicitly. So here we have this word problem about Miss Ball. So Miss Ball, she ate half of a Babe Ruth candy bar. Mr. Ball, her husband, ate seven eighths of a Mr. Good candy bar. How much candy did they eat all together? So in looking at this huge block of text, I'm sure some of you guys are overwhelmed. You're already thinking, oh gosh, here we go. Another word problem. Pause, breathe, UKT. Let's start with our units. So usually you can find your units right after the numbers referenced in a word problem. So what I have highlighted here are our units. So we're talking about Babe Ruth candy bars and Mr. Good's candy bars. So some of you guys may be thinking, well, Miss Fields, Babe Ruth candy bars are different than Mr. Good candy bars. They're asking in the word problem, how much candy bars did they eat? How much candy bar did they eat in total? So they're just looking at candy bars. That being said, the units would be candy bars and candy bars. Again, if units match, it is highly likely that your operation to be used is going to be addition or subtraction. So that's what's exactly going through my mind right now as I move through the word problem. Let's look for keywords. 
So Miss Ball won eight one fourth of the Ruth candy bar. Mr. Ball ate seven eighths of the Mr. Good candy bar. Now I'm looking for key words. Ooh, all together. Now thinking back to my key words, I'm gonna go back in the slides. And I'm looking for a match. Does all together match anything? Oh, there it is right there, all together. So before I determined that my units matched, so it could be addition or subtraction, I used my keywords, I found all together, and it looks to me like all together matches with addition. So that tells me, in writing out my UKT, my operation to be used will be addition. Let's apply this with a little bit harder of a word problem. This next problem says, Mrs. Nichols runs a marathon in three and twenty-five hundredths hours. Mrs. Federico takes one and six tenths times as long to run the same marathon. How many hours does it take Mrs. Federico to run the marathon? So immediately, I'm taking a deep breath. I'm thinking UKT. Let's break this problem down to make it simple. First step, units. Again, units are usually located right after the number. So I'm seeing hours and I'm seeing times as long. Hours and times as long. So when I'm writing down on my UKT, I'm just gonna put hours. Times as long isn't an object. It doesn't really make sense as something that you can physically grasp or reference. So our unit is hours. So next we're gonna move on to our keywords. So I'm seeing that the only keyword that really makes any sense in this word problem is times. Now, if I were to go back in the slides and I were to look, what keywords are associated with times? I would see that it matches up with multiplication. Another clue that tells me that it's multiplication is that the units don't match. It's not one and six tenths hours and three and 25 hundredths hours. It's hours and times as long. Another piece of evidence that supports that it's multiplication is this keyword times. Now just for fun, if I still was just not sure, I wasn't 100% sure that it was multiplication and I really wanted to take it a step further, I could look to see if we know the total or not or if we don't. So let's look about what the word problem is asking. It says, how many hours does it take Mrs. Federico to run the marathon? How many? That how many tells me Mm, we probably need to find the total. That being said, if you need to find the total, you have to multiply. Again, word problems intimidate even the best mathematician. But if you use UKT, 99.9% .9 of the time, it'll make identifying the operation necessary to be used easy, and you can get started on your word problem with no problem. Have a great night, guys, and I can't wait to see you Monday morning.